What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today I'm partnering up with Starly to show you their new Jellyfish Journey collection, which if you're a fan of my channel, you probably know I love a good jelly nail polish and we've got eight brand new ones to go over today. So I was very excited to try these. But first, if you haven't heard of Starly before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US and all of their polishes are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. They're cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals and they're also formulated without harmful ingredients. They do have a full list on their website, so I'll link it down below. So like I said, and like the name implies, the Jellyfish Journey Collection is a collection of jelly nail polishes, which means that they are an intentionally sheer tint that you can wear in your nails, very similar to Jello or Jelly, but you can also build up the coverage of these, which you'll see in the swatches. But one of the interesting things about this collection is that they were a more glassy type of jelly. I've been finding a lot recently that that jelly nail polishes seem to be more milky or cloudy, but these definitely have that sort of glass tint look, which really, you, well, no, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil it. You'll see it in the swatches. <laughs> Let's just dive into the swatches, and then we can talk a little bit more about my thoughts on the collection, pricing, availability, all that good stuff. So roll the swatch footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today, it's the Starly base coat. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Flame Jelly. This is actually what I'm wearing on my nails in the intro and outro to this video and it is a super bright cherry red jelly color and as you can see I was really impressed with the opacity on this one. I love a good jelly red and just in the first swipe I could tell that this was going to be really nicely opaque. It did actually cover up my visible nail line in just the first coat but I wanted to get that full jelly like feel so I ended up doing two coats and I feel like that actually gave me really impressive coverage. Now of course I do have short nails so you you might need another coat if you have pretty long nails, but looking at this, it almost looks like a cream finish, but it still has that super glassiness to it. And it also is a tint so you can wear it over other colors and it will look more sheer, like you'll be able to see the other colors underneath it. But just on its own, I thought it looked so stunning. So this was an instant love for me. Next up, we have the shade Blood Belly Jelly. And this one is also a red jelly, but you can see they're actually pretty different from each other and I am going to do a little comparison at the end as well, but this one is almost more of like a magenta leaning red. It definitely feels like more of a wintry color to me. And again, that first coat gave me really impressive coverage and it looked pretty full coverage in two coats, which I thought was so nice. And the color is just stunning. It feels very deep. It feels very vampy and it looks like it's full coverage, but again, it does have that sheerness to it. So you can layer this over other colors and it will show through the other color. So another one absolutely loved. Next up, we have the shade Crown Jelly, and now we're getting into the purples. This one is a deep, warmer toned purple. And one thing that I love about jellies is you can really choose how deep you want the color to be with dark colors like this. So you can see in the first coat, it definitely has that purpley look. It's very light. But once I pop on just a second coat, it gets so much deeper and darker. And if I put on a third coat, it would get even darker and probably like an almost black kind of color. Color, but here's what it looks like in two coats. And again, the opacity was just stunning here. I loved the way that it looked. It still had that jelly vibe, but it felt pretty full coverage to me. And you know, I love a good purple. So I obviously love this one as well. <laughs> and then we have another purple shade. This one is called Moon Jelly. And this one is definitely a very cool leaning purple. It almost verges into like indigo territory. And you can see, again, we have that same situation where in the first coat, it looks pretty light and bright, but once I pop on that second coat, it instantly gets so much deeper and darker. So that's one of the things that I love about jellies is you can really play around with them. And if you want to use an accent with this color and you want it to be lighter and like that lighter cool toned purple, you can just do one coat. But if you want it to be more intense, you can do two coats or even three. So it's really fun to just experiment with them. And then we have the shade Blue Fire Jelly, which as you could probably guess from the name is a blue. And again, we we just have the same situation where the more coats you do with the deeper and darker it gets. But I have to say in the first coat, this color looks so summery and bright. I feel like this would be a great sort of sea glass manicure color to use in the summer, but the deeper and darker it gets, the more fall slash winter that it feels, which I totally love. And another thing, I love that this collection has these colors being a good transition into each other. So I'm doing them in kind of a rainbow order here and you can see the colors flow into each other really nicely. 
which would work very well for doing a gradient. And with jellies, you can do gradients without actually using a sponge, which is really nice. So another great way to use this collection. But yeah, here's what this one looks like in three coats. I wanted it to get a little bit deeper and darker. So that's why I did a third coat. And I feel like it gave me this nice royal blue kind of shade. And then we have the shade Crystal Jelly. And this one is a teal jelly. So this one, very similar formula to Blue Fire. I mean, they're all jellies, but some of them I found to be a little bit more sheer than others. And Blue Fire and this one Crystal Jelly were the two that I found to be the most sheer, but also very buildable. Again, that first coat looks like a very light, almost summery kind of color. And then as you go in with that second and third coat, it gets deeper and darker and more wintry. And I just love that. I love being able to kind of build it up myself and depending on what kind of mood or season I'm feeling, just build the polish based off of that. So whenever I get a jelly, I always like to say, I think of it as like multiple polishes in one because you can just do so much with it. Next, we have the shade Immortal Jelly. And this one is a black jelly. And again, very buildable. I actually found when I applied it, it was very sheer in the first coat, which is nice, especially if you're doing something like a sort of lace manicure or doing anything where you wanna have it look almost faded. But I actually found in real life, I thought it looked fully opaque on me in two coats. When I looked at it on camera, I thought that it looked a little bit more sheer because of course we are very zoomed in on my nail in HD. So I ended up doing a third coat and that truly on camera even looks like a full coverage black cream nail polish, which I thought was really impressive. So I really enjoyed that. I do love a black jelly polish and this one is definitely good quality. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Ghost Jelly. And this is actually a white jelly nail polish, which I was so excited about because I have had sheer white nail polishes before, but I've never had one that had that almost like squishy high shine kind of look to it. And I was so impressed with this. I thought it looked so so beautiful as like a sheer wash of white in one coat. I loved the way that it looked in two coats. It felt almost bridal. And in three coats, it pretty much looked like a full coverage white on my nails. And the cool thing about this one is you can wear this underneath some of the other jellies if you wanna create that more cloudy, milky look that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. So it's another just fun way to play around with these colors and experiment. That's absolutely my favorite thing about jellies, which we'll talk more about in a minute. But yeah, absolutely love it. I think it just has such a nice squish to it and it just feels so perfect without any patchiness. So love that. So just a quick example of how you can layer different jellies. I have that first red shade flame jelly and I'm layering a mortal jelly, which is the black over it. And you can see just how that fully changes the color. And then what I like to do is make a jelly sandwich. So I went back in with another coat of flame jelly just to even everything out. And it just makes it look like a deeper vampire kind of red without making it seem like there are multiple different polishes being used here. It's very transformative. If you guys want me to do a bigger video on just different experimental ways to play with jellies. I can do that. I've done a couple in the past, so I will link them in the cards. But yeah, here are all of the shades together. And I have to say, I love this color story. I like that the colors all work really nicely with each other because I think that is gonna work really well for any sort of Skittle manicure, any sort of gradient that you wanna do without actually having to use a sponge. But I also find that jellies work really well if you're doing a gradient with a sponge. There's just something about a jelly formula that makes it feel very very seamless to blend from one color to another on the nail. So perfect for that. But I also just think these colors in general are very versatile for multiple different seasons. But I think using different combinations of layers would also make it work really well for other seasons. So yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that because I have a lot to say about the versatility of jellies. So yeah, those are the polishes and I totally loved them. I love the formula. I love that glassy sort of jelly tint that we got. The formula was so easy easy to use and it felt very beginner friendly, which not all jellies are. So this was definitely a great starter jelly type of formula. I also loved the color story. I love that we have these darker, deeper tones for fall, but I think because they're that more jeweled tone type of vibe, they'll also work really well for winter. And then because they're jellies, you can kind of mix and match them with other manicures and make them work really well for even spring and summer. So another reason why I love jellies, but let's talk a little bit more about the versatility of jellies because I know not everybody likes them. To me, I think that the versatility is one of the reasons why I love them so much. There's also definitely like the 
sort of nostalgia because in a sense they kind of remind me of that like inflatable furniture of the 90s and little clear butterfly clips and basically how a lot of technology was just like clear plastic covers on them that were in fun colors. But like I said, it's really the versatility because you can wear them on their own, but you can also layer different jellies over each other to get different colors. You can layer them over colors you have to slightly change them. One of my favorite things is doing a jelly sandwich, which is where you do a layer of your jelly, then a layer of like a glitter or a shimmer or a magnetic polish, something that you can play around with, and then another layer of that jelly over it. And it just creates such a beautiful look. You can also use these for a really intriguing French manicure kind of vibe. So yeah, I mean, there's really so many ways to wear them and I think that's what makes them very special. But this formula in particular really blew me away. I just loved how glassy they were. So now let's talk about pricing and availability. These polishes are for sale on the Starly website. They also have a bunch of international retailers. So I'll link that down below where you can check that out. They do come in 15 milliliter bottles and they have a wide flat brush that has a straight tip. I did see on their website that for this collection, 10% of proceeds are actually being donated to causes to help the ocean and marine life, which I love. But yeah, the polishes retail for $13 USD each on the Starly website, or you can get the full collection at a discounted rate. So that's eight polishes for $96 USD. And I do have a discount code on the Starly website, so you can use the code Kelly to get 10% off your order. So I'm gonna link everything down in the description and you can check them out if you're interested. But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think of these polishes? What do you think of jellies in general? Have I converted you to a jelly lover yet? Leave it all in the comments so you can chat about it. If you enjoyed my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocket Man's daughter, Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Today's fun fact question is very appropriate for this collection. So we've got a fun fact question from Chris and Chris wants to know, I've never been to New Jersey. What are some touristy things you would recommend? If you didn't know, I was born and raised in New Jersey. Specifically, I'm from the Jersey Shore. There's one touristy thing that growing up was my favorite thing in the world to do, my favorite place to go to, and that was Jenkinson's in Point Pleasant Beach, which is similar in a sense to Seaside. It is the boardwalk, you know, that goes onto the beach, but there's like all these arcades and there's a mini amusement park with rides. They have a little aquarium, which I don't know if they still have axolotls, but they did when I was younger. What else do they have? I mean, the food was boardwalk food, which is delicious. There's nothing better than boardwalk boardwalk fries. The, I mean, I, I don't know if this tastes different now. I haven't had it in quite some time, but the, the lemonade where they like squeeze a whole lemon and then just dump sugar in it. Fantastic. And then also funnel cakes, obviously. It was always very special. As I got older, I would just go there as a teenager for my birthday every year. And I have not been there in a very long time, but maybe I should head back because that was a fun place. Also for adults, there is like a lot of bars and they also have a bar where you can bring your drinks onto the beach which I remember being a big deal because I, I don't think you're allowed to drink on the beach in New Jersey, except for in that spot and maybe other spots that have licenses. I'm not really sure. But yeah, that would be my number one tourist recommendation. I didn't really do anything else touristy in New Jersey, but I, I did live in a, a relatively touristy area. So being from the Jersey Shore, you end up doing some touristy things. And most of that is just the boardwalk. If anybody else has any touristy recommendations for New Jersey, let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.